All right, so we've beaten Berg, and that means one thing. We need to go north to Route 4, and from there, we can hit up the Desert Resort, and we can hit up the uh, Nimbasa City, and a bunch of stuff. So here we go. There's this uh, unknown man as of now. Oh, it's you again. If it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? Sure, I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, how interesting. Your Flaffy seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species. And you're a trainer with merely three badges. Fantastic. I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon, is it possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers, or is it some other different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling you. Do you find this acceptable? Yes, I do. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just beyond here. Alrighty. So let's continue on. And first I guess I should check to see if my Pokemon are fully healed, and they are. So let's uh, continue on. And I think we'll be meeting with Bianca here shortly. There we go. Hey! When I saw you in the city, I just had to catch up with you. Here, take this. This is a dousing machine. You can use the dousing machine to find places where items are hidden. It's exciting to find an item while you're looking for a Pokemon. Oh, good luck! Oh, if you often use the dousing machine, the habitat list, and so on, why don't you register them? Er, I think it's written in this book. I found it. Okay, I'll read. You can use the registered item just by pressing the Y button. See? Okay, bye. Except she mentioned, or she failed to mention the fact that uh, it kind of works differently if you have multiple items registered. But either way, I'll go ahead and register the dousing machine. And turn it on. And get off my bike because it's too fast. Nimbasa City is at the end of Route 4. The Pokemon breeder on Route 4 past this gate always challenges trainers to battle when she sees them. Just what you expect from Route 4, which has ruins, discovery is so exciting. The Castelia Harlequin Hunt is a way to make more people love Castelia City. That's why we generously gave you a bicycle at the beginning. It's the best way to get around Castelia City. Keep loving Castelia City. Castelia City, Castelia City, Castelia City. Here we go. All right. It's enough of that. So, the main thing about this area is the fact that uh, it's completely different in white two and black two. Oh, trainer, take a look at the sand. Do you see how some areas are lighter and some of the sand looks darker? Pokemon are hiding in the darker end. But anyway, this area is completely different if you um, are in white two versus black two because in white two, and we can read it here, I think. No, oh, maybe not. But anyway, in white two, um, the construction from the first black and white games, uh, <clears throat> it was halted because they found some ruins. And in black 2, it was continued and completed, and there's no longer like a sandstorm or anything. So in black 2, it's uh, kind of completely, completely nice looking, actually, and like inhabited by different people. So, um, that is a horrible matchup for my Flappy, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out. And hopefully Snivy can take whatever hit it's going to dish out. Sweet. Except I only have Vine Whip. Ouch. Let's see, should I even try to 
heal it and get off one more mind wipe. I guess I might as well. <clears throat> so anyway, on top of uh, Black 2 and White 2's Route 4 looking completely different, they actually functional a lot different because uh, there's uh, different item locations and all that type of stuff. Although for the most part, the items are actually the same that you can find. So, all right. Well, you know what? I kind of want my Snivy to get some experience. So, I will send out coughing. Except I can't. Probably because of uh, sand tomb or something. So, it probably isn't good. There we go, we got her deer, and from there I can switch back out into somebody else. And I think I'll go to coughing, because I kind of want to train him up a little bit. Because I haven't had very many chances to use him yet. So, I'm going to use me some sludge. That did quite a bit of damage. And unfortunately, it looks like... Well, actually, you know what? First off, I'll switch my Flaffy out from first... Uh, slot, considering the fact that it'll probably be pretty useless here, because there will probably be a lot of people, <clears throat> and also, I'll go ahead and hop on my bike and heal up and buy some, buy some items at the Pokemon Center, like Repel and whatnot, to make it so this video isn't like five hours long. And in the meantime, maybe I could look up what kind of Pokemon we can find here. So, let's see. Off this way. In Black and White 2, we can find some Sandile, Darumaka, Scraggy, Trubbish, and Minchino. And uh, once we actually have some sort of fishing rod, we can catch some pretty cool Pokemon like Quillfish, uh, Clamperl, Finian. And once we can surf, we can get some frillish. So, I'm going to go ahead and stock up here. Uh, let's see. I already have five of those, and I'll probably just want to wait until um, I can get Ultra Balls anyway. So, let's see here. I definitely want some Repels. Wow, I can buy a lot of them. But I probably won't need that many. Let's go with like 20. Probably don't need more than one of those. And yeah, let's go get some super potions then. Let's do like 10 of them. And probably 10 normal potions. And a weird thing about repels is, um,. Super repels are actually a better deal than max repels. So if you ever see me stocking up on super repels, even though I could buy max repels, that would be the reason why. Because, like, cost per step is less with uh, super repels. All right, so right now I will find my uh, super repels, except I can't actually find them. There we go. Let's go to free space and use them on up.
So here we go. Hop off my bike so I can actually run. Might as well battle her. And the first time I played through um, in Black 2, I thought this chick was like glitched out because she would keep on fighting me every single time I entered the route. But actually, it's kind of a really cool thing because you can use it to level up Pokemon and stuff like that <clears throat> if you find yourself with like a level 18 Pokemon later on in the game. And I forgot that he has a resistance to poison because he's ground. So actually, coughing will be a pretty terrible Pokemon in this uh, in this area. It's Johnny, and also because actually it might be because he's steel. I forget. Either way. Let's hit him once more, get some experience, and bounce. And from here, I think I will actually... I think I'll take off the experience share from coughing, considering he's, like, even a better level than uh, Marie, or Flaffy, I mean. So let's take that. But, uh... Give it on over to Snivy. Oh, damn it. There we go. And I'll heal up my coughing. And let's uh, just double check, make sure nothing worthwhile is over there. And turn on the dousing machine, just for the hell of it. And now let's uh, battle these dudes. Although they are fishermen, so they most likely have water Pokemon, so I'll just switch out into my Snivy. And hope that he doesn't have uh, too high level of Pokemon. Hopefully they're like level 18-ish. Although he only has one Pokemon, so it's probably level 19, maybe 20. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Holy crap. Alright, well... I guess considering it's water, I could also use uh, Flappy. Cool. And I think my Snivy should also gain a level. There we go. Wow, gain two. Awesome. And it is learning an actual, like, legit attack, too. So I think I will forget Tackle.
flip flop flippity flop. And in this case, I will switch to Flaffy as well. And I might as well pick up this item. Which is a Mystic Water, which is uh, one of the three items that you could have got earlier as well. Okay, good match, good match. My next catch, good catch, good catch. My next catch will be called Victory. And now we're going to have a good match. Man, Flaffy is, like, really good for the single-player game, considering it has Static and Thunder Wave. So you can pretty much paralyze Pokemon really easily, even if you don't try with Static. Snap, Snivy's evolving. Dun 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 da dun 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 Life is just like fishing. You can't catch what you don't aim for, but even if you aim for something, you still can't catch it. Hmm. Kind of a gloomy way to look about it. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustle. Observe. With this device I created to energize Pokemon, I'll... Move them. And that will come in handy later in the game, too. Those Crustle, were they just lying here <clears throat> out of energy with their boulders on their backs? Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Ding! Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Ryan, I'll remember that. Well then, I will test you to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Alrighty. And uh, pro tip, he typically has steel type Pokemon. So if you have a fire type, that would be uh, really good. Or even fighting or sometimes ground. So, I think I'll just uh, straight up switch into Arcanine, I mean uh, Growlithe. And actually, I think I should maybe start looking into uh, evolving him, because sometime soon he'll probably stop uh, learning moves that are worthwhile. Wow, that really sucks. Um, should I even bother trying to heal his being paralyzed? I think I should. And actually, it looks like uh, Growlithe learned some pretty legit attacks after level 40, so it probably won't be 
a while until... Are you kidding me? He's paralyzed again. I wasn't even paying attention. <clears throat> Alright, well, that works out. Although, Growlithe may not make it through the sandstorm this round. Hopefully he does. There we go. And from there, I don't know, he's pretty beat up. Uh, coughing won't be able to do anything, and Snivy pretty much won't be able to do anything. So, I think I have one option, which is... Flaffy. And I think I'll just try to... Actually, I don't know what I should try to do. I should try to use Takedown, or... Well, you know what? Electric type attacks are normally effective against it, so even though that did no damage at all. You know what? I should probably thunder wave it. Ouch. And ouch. That is not good. Alright, well, for now I'm just going to send out my little uh, damage-taking Pokemon. And that will allow me to heal up my Growlithe. Because my Growlithe should be able to take out Clank in at least two hits, if not one. So now all I have to do is heal it from being paralyzed, and it had no effect. Oh, duh! I'm an idiot. I'm trying to use Antidote, which is totally not what I wanted. So actually, I totally don't even have a full... Oh, I have a Castelli Cone. That works. Alright, and now my almost brand new Growlithe will come out, and I would assume it would be faster than a Paralyzed Clink, yeah. And there we go. Splendid, you're quite the trainer. Colorus, I see. Just like the gym leaders in each area of the Elite Four and Champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them. That's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. And he gave us a protein, which I think boosts uh, attack. It's so frustrating. If only we could talk to Pokemon in order to bring out their power. But there's no way a person... <clears throat> like that could ever exist. Well then, Ryan, I hope to see you again sometime. And see me again you will. Let's see, um... Yeah, you know what? My Flaffy probably won't be too useful anyway. So, for the time being, I think I'll just uh, let it continue to be knocked out, maybe. Although, I may have to go heal up again sometime shortly here. So, let's see. Technically, I could uh, skip those twins if I wanted to, but I don't think I want to. And let's see here. I'll switch out to make sure I have a double worthy team going on. Rue in. It's a Rue in. T 
twins Terra and Val. Let's see. All right, they have two grass Pokemon, so it's a good thing I decided to have Growlithe. So let's see. I guess um, I could use Leer and then Fire Fang. Maybe I'll be able to take him out in one shot. Cool. Sweet. And I might as well just do the same exact thing. All over again. There we go. That was pretty simple. A ruin is like someone's house, right? I wonder who lives here. There's, like, stuff everywhere. My gorgeous Pokemon and I have come to frolic about Relic Castle. Here, take a look at my Pokemon. Rich boy Keenan. Which reminds me of Keenan and Kel. I used to watch... I used to watch TV so much when I was a kid. And now I... I don't even have a TV plugged in in my room. But back in the day, I used to watch Nickelodeon, like, uh, I would watch All That and Keenan and Kel with Orange Soda and, uh, Good Burger, stuff like that. I used to watch Nickelodeon, like, nonstop. And then eventually, we got Cartoon Network, and I was like, oh, damn. And then I watched Cartoon Network, like, nonstop. And now, I like video games a lot more on TV. But I guess that's just the way it is. Just like the two box on. Sweet TM28 Dig, which is uh, not really a great attack in competitive play, but as far as um, playing through the single player, it's pretty legit. All right, well, let's battle this chick. I've become bored, so I shall let you in entertain me. All right, there's a lot of uh, sexual innuendo that I could build from that, but I won't, because I'm a classy guy. So anyway, we're battling Lady Lena and her life hard. And I could use a reversal, because it will be super effective. Although I won't be able to because she used Fake Out. And he may get knocked out here. And I probably should have used a potion. Yep. And from there, I think I might not be able to actually uh, fucking do anything here. I might get knocked out completely, or whited out, or blacked out, or whatever term they use nowadays, because they switched it in, like, Ruby and Sapphire, or Diamond and Pearl, or something. But, let's see how coughing does. Sweet. Alright, never mind. I guess it's not going to be as bad as I thought. Although, I should definitely go, um, heal up after this. And there we go. Ooh, Leech Seed. Finally a move that's uh, kind of decent. Well, you certainly know how to entertain. 
Oh, I thank you, lady. Let's see. There's an item. A stardust. And then we got a backpacker, which I kind of didn't want to fight, but oh well. We'll see how this turns out. What kind of Pokemon is your partner on this journey? Backpacker Rachel. And she sends out a Woobat, which is very much not good for my Snivy. And I probably shouldn't even uh, bother attacking at all, to be honest. But let's try out Leech Seed. Oh, cool. It actually uh, went first. And that could very well knock it out. Awesome, it didn't. And from there, I think I will um, send out my coughing, although coughing doesn't have that much HP. You know what I think I'll do? I will send out Sawaddle. To take some damage. And then I'll take out coughing. Oh, damn, I really did not want to use poison gas. <clears throat> I meant to use sludge. But, hey, it landed. So, it's good for me. And I get a little bit of health. And I think I will just go ahead and use a super potion on my coughing. Which means I won't get anything from Leech Seed, but it's better to do that than get knocked out. And hey, I got damaged before Leech Seed even did anything anyway, so it all worked out. Now let's just use Sludge and hope this doesn't get a critical hit. Awesome. And Sludge should hopefully knock it out, or at least, you know, Leech Seed and the Poison will. Cool. Alright, so let's see what she has next. Alright, Pit of... Well, I bought a couple of um, revives. So I think I will revive my... And for the time being, I'll revise my um, Flaffy, considering it'll do good against it of. And I might as well just heal it up. And use coughing as my sacrificial lamb. Hopefully a couple of thunder shots will do it. And now I definitely have to uh, kind of go the opposite direction. Although, let's Get up this here dousing machine. And we got another, another uh, Stardust. So it looks like there is a chick over here to battle, and I really don't want to battle her just yet, so I'm going to come back after um, hitting up the Pokemon Center. Alright, so we're back now, and that means we can start actually going inside some of these areas. 
I want to trade your petalil and my cottony. No, I see that next time. Because I actually don't have one yet. Sandstorms are terrible, but rock, ground, and steel type Pokemon can weather a sandstorm without damage. We got a bright powder. And let's enter here. I'm very particular about a Pokemon attack. That's why you. Do you have a Pokemon whose attack stat is the same as or higher than 148? Definitely not. That's quite all right. Good things <clears throat> about Pokemon are not just attack stats, but today I just feel like meeting a Pokemon whose attack stat is higher than 148. I don't think any of my Pokemon's attack stats are over, like, 75. I'm very particular about a Pokemon's speed. That's it? All right. Hmm. Aren't you a bit tired? Don't be shy. Take a rest. And wow, I could have totally just uh, healed here. Oh well, you, li li yeah. you live and you learn. Oh, both you and your Pokemon are full of energy. And she also has a rock and roller. So anyway, let's battle this chick. Yeah, so anyway, uh, by this time I should have uh, edited out me going all the way back to Pokemon Center, so no big deal. Hee hee, hey you, check out my Pokemon before you go. Okie dokie. And here we're fighting Pokefan Sachiko. And there's a lot of uh, not like English eyes names in this game. Which isn't a problem, in my opinion. I think it's kind of cool that there's uh, a little rainbow of names, if you will. Alright, so we got our Darumaka here. And uproar could be a problem, eventually. I'm getting pretty lucky with the poison. go. That's done now. There we go. Found a light clay. No big deal. And now, maybe there's some stuff down here. Oh wow, there's like an entire area down here. If Pokemon are released and demonstrate their true skills, will we be used by Pokemon in battle for them someday? <laughs> Every Monday, Pokemon fly here from somewhere. Hmm, you're a trainer with quick eyes. I'll give you these. <coughs> and we got some citrus berries. Go to many places and speak to many people, then good things will happen to you. I don't know why my quick eyes deserve a citrus berry, but okay. And after this dude, I think there should be one more trainer. This may be a bit sudden, but please check out my Pokemon. And from that, you can tell he's a Poke fan. Because they always want to show you their Pokemons. My Pokemans. Let me show you them. And we got a Growlithe. Makes me sad that I don't have any water attacks. Oh, wow, I didn't realize how low my coughing was on HP. In that case, I should probably uh, switch them out.
And I'll go ahead and send out Flaffy to lay down the hurt. Oh, that sucks. I don't think Mike Rowlett's uh, Fire Fang has burned a Pokemon yet, and I've probably used it like 50 times by now. Let's see, what other Pokemon does he have? Sandshrew. Which kind of looks like a beaver, and kind of reminds me of Norbert from Angry Beavers. As I said earlier, I fucking loved Nickelodeon when I was a kid. So Angry Beavers was amazing for me. Because I just ate up everything that Nickelodeon shoved down my throat pretty much. And I loved it. Except I, pr I pretty much forget everything about that show other than Norbert, Daggett, those were the two main characters. And then there was, I think, Stump or something like that. Although I think that may be from, like, Ren and Stimpy. And what else? I remember the song name, I think. Or the song, how it goes. It was like, Angry Beavers. And then it went, all right, we're missing some items here. Ooh, a green shard. All right, so I think we need to go back to the main area here. Up these stairs. And it looks like there's another item to pick up. Ooh, high propulsion. And up here should hopefully be another trainer to battle. Yep. Sweet. And I think he is the last one. A ruin buried under the sands to have run into another trainer here. Doesn't this give you a grand sense of adventure? It does. It gives me a grand sense of wanting to kick your ass. Man, I need to train up my Pokemon again. Because they're kind of getting destroyed here. Although I guess I could have actually uh, healed up, but... Too late now. So, for the time being, I'll try to tough it out here before I can heal up one last time, and then head out to the desert resort, I think. Let's see how much damage this does. Uh, okay, awesome. I should be able to take out Timber next turn, then. And that shows you why Bide is one of my favorite moves for computers to use. So I think that should be pretty much it to this route. Up there should be uh, Nimbasa City, but here it says, Pokemon have a source of energy for using moves. It's called PP, meaning power points. They have PP for each move. When a move has no PP remaining, that Pokemon cannot use that move. That's a good time to head for the Pokemon Center. All I do is look at the cars driving down the freeway. Wow, that sounds really boring. And there we go. That is leading to Nimbasa City, but actually, more directly, it leads to um, Join Avenue. And it looks like we have an item somewhere over here. And I need to throw out a Super Appel real quick. And throw back on my dousing machine. 
and we got a red shard. So hopefully that's everything as far as the uh, unused or the unfound items. I'm going to heal one last time and then head out to the desert resort, I believe. what this chick has to say. When the ruins were discovered, new construction was stopped. Guess you can't compete against the weight of history. I guess you can't. Go through the gate and just head straight. That's how to get to the, the relic castle. The desert resort is vast and the Pokemon here are strong. It's an ideal place to test your skills especially before uh, taking on Elisa. Desert resort ahead. It's nicer than the average desert. All right, so that's everything in this video, or this route, Route 4. Uh, next time we're going to be exploring desert resort and uh, probably also Relic Castle because it is uh, substantially smaller than the last games. So I'll see you there.